Hello and welcome back, it's the Clay Golem here. We are back in Foundry VTT and we are in Fandelva and below looking at Wave Echo Cave. This map. Um, we're very nearly finished all of this, but I'm not going to finish it in this one. Uh, this area. This area drives me nuts. So, um, I discussed this in a previous video about the fact that uh, Neznar is held back by how dangerous this chamber is. This chamber that consists of a total of two violet fungi. And for some reason, he can't get past it. And it's a total nonsense. Uh, um, so I was thinking about, well, what can we do to actually make that logistically, legitimately, a challenge that might actually help hold back Neznar and his forces? Uh, and I thought of different creatures we can put in here. Can we put a shambling mound in here instead? It didn't really fit. I decided to make this a uh, more of a <clears throat> excuse me more of a trap room. Um, so the idea is this is full of fungus, and in the description, and we've got it. Let's have a quick look at that description. Should have opened that before uh, started the video, really. Um, <clears throat> gosh, so it talks about dense carpets of weird fungi, includes puffballs, a foot cross, weird shelf fungus. So there's lots of things in here that we can make dangerous <laughs> so let's do that so effectively i'm going to create a whole bunch of traps in here that are going to be representative of walking through this chamber where there's all of these things like puffballs and exotic fungi that could cause serious damage um, and therefore actually is a barrier and i'm happy to leave the violet fungus in here as well oh yeah they can fight that at the same time so how are we going to do this right so <clears throat> excuse me really croaky uh, i need to get my trap uh actor here i've renamed my dart trap to be the trapomatic because what i realized is yes the pit trap because it comes with all the images and everything like that um that reveals and stuff, it makes sense that we have a separate trap. But for things like the dart traps, we, we, apart from the uh, the actual animation that plays when it attacks, we don't, we don't need it. We don't need to have all those extra images and stuff. So we can have this one actor that is loaded with, well, it's already loaded with these spells that we have played with and this feature. So we can just dump it all on here and have this one actor that gener that powers most of our traps. So what kind of traps would we want happening in this kind of area, this fungus? Well, let's look at our, uh, let's go to our SRD and let's look at our spell list because that's a really good place to start. And we, <coughs> excuse me again, I do apologise. So we can look at our cantrips and if there's anything we haven't already got on here that would work. Poison spray makes sense. You could even argue acid splash might work. Um, you could argue some of these as well, like chill touch, but I'm not going to. So that's fine. Any first level spells that would potentially work in here? Um, uh, da, 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 uh, no, not really. Not really. Entangle? Could? Um, I'm not really feeling it though. Fog cloud where all the spores come up. I've got a better solution to that coming up though because I have been thinking about it. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else that I particularly feel fits in this area. That's fine. What about second level spells? Is there anything in here? Acid arrow might be a bit violent. <laughs> but... You could argue that. I think Acid Splash is good enough. I'd rather have lots of little weak ones rather than, you know, big ones. Um, continual Flame, Darkness, Enlarge. No, no, no. Continual, uh, sorry. Uh, flaming Blade, Flaming Sphere, Gust of Wind, Invisibility, Knock. Still not seeing anything particularly uh, useful for this. We will get to one, don't worry. Uh, ray of Enfeeblement, that effectively they get the effects of Ray, ray of Enfeeblement. Just uh, check what that is. Beam of Energy, ranged spell attack. does um, So it will do damage, only does half damage on a save. Uh, they can make a constitution save to end the spell. Okay, so that you can only deal half damage with weapons. 
So, yeah, it's not going to last long enough to really make much difference. Not too worried about that. Um, spike growth again, not quite what we need. We're mostly, to be honest, I'm mostly thinking that poison spray is our main one. But I do want to throw something else in that is a bit more pokey. Let's go with pokey. Um, <clears throat> i just got to remember where it is. Uh, but also, I didn't actually have a look through this way and just sort of say, is there anything else that will do it? Um, but I definitely want to include Stinking Cloud. What do you think? Third level spell, 20 foot radius, nauseating gas. Um, creates a heavily obscured area. Saving throw or you start retching your guts up. I'm going to use that. I don't want to go too high level now. I don't. I don't think there's anything in fourth level that would work for this. Black tentacles. It's a, it's not so natural. I think we might stick with these. Um, I think we're going to stick with those. Right. So we are going to use a combination of poison spray, acid splash. And Stinking Cloud as a series of little traps in here that, as the party attempt to move through, may accidentally tread on fungus and set these things off. But we're going to do it in a slightly different way than we've done traps before. Um, or we're just going to set them up slightly different. Okay, so let me get myself a tile. <clears throat> I'm going to place a tile. Let's stick one there. Um, we are going to make it transparent because we don't need to see anything but we are going to make it a trigger anyone who enters it potentially will set this off so it is active um, I'm not worried about that what I do want to do though is I'm going to drop this down to 50% chance so not every character will set it off every time yeah and it, it doesn't have to be 50% you know but I'm going to go with 50 so that's what we're going to do the actions are going to be um, attack, the triggering token. I'll tell you what I do want to do. I'm going to drag my trapomatic out. I'm just going to hide it here. I can it is already hidden, okay? So the players won't be able to see it. So the actor who's going to perform this attack is going to be um, the trapomatic. It's going to use, in this case, let's go with, let's do, try, do the stinking cloud. Type of attack, yes, show the chat card, etc. We can do all of that, which is good. Uh, and we can update that. So 50% of the time, anybody walking across that tile is going to set it up. So I'm going to create that tile. And before we go any further, let's just make sure that that tile is going to work the way we want to. So I need a volunteer. Let's get sorry, man. Okay, so Sorryman can walk along here, and when he goes over this tile here, there's a 50-50 chance he might set it off. He didn't. He did that time, though, so immediately it's asking him to make a constitution saving throw. So he can make that, <clears throat> and I need to place that measured template, and I can place it wherever I want. Okay. Anybody else within that stinking cloud is going to have to be making those. So this makes much more sense that after having stinking cloud go off a couple of times, Neznar and his forces are like, whoa, 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 we're not going in there. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's perfectly viable. And as we saw, it works. First time he crossed it, nothing happened. Let's get him out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> Um, what I do want to do is just get rid of that template, though. Uh, no, not the tile. Get rid of that. Thank you. There we go. So I think that's fair enough. We can say that that is one thing we can do. I'm going to copy and paste that. And I'm also going to stick it. I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm also going to stick it over here. Did I? No, I have only got one. one whoops, a daisy. Okay, so I'm going to just create a couple. In fact, actually, I'm going to create several of those. Remember, they only go off 50% of the time. 
But I'm going to place those around like that. Fair enough. Um, I might place one more just here as well. Okay. Uh, now, of course, as they start setting those off, they are going to not want to go through here at all. I'm now going to create a new tile. Um, I'm just going to stick it here. I'm going to make it transparent again. We're going to go with the triggers. The setup is going to be, yes, it's active. Anyone who enters it, um, <clears throat> not worried about site. Again, I'm going to say 50%. There we go. Uh, the actions are going to be um, that there will be an attack on the triggering token. It's going to be an attack by the Trappomatic. I love that name. <laughs> uh, and the type of attack this is going to be is going to be Poison Spray. Um, and again, we can put all those things on there. We can update that and save it. Uh, was that this one here? Hang on. That's the Stinking Cloud. Was it this one was the... Oh, losing track. So this is why using images actually on them is useful. Um, that's Poison Spray. So I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to stick this one several places. And I'm going to put a few of these around just to make the whole whoops a daisy make the whole place seem uh, potentially very dangerous to try and pass through. So this would potentially quite genuinely, oops, I didn't want to do that, uh, potentially quite genuinely be considered a problem for uh, Neznar and his peeps. They're only going to have to set off a few of these and just go, well, hang on a minute. This is actually really dangerous. And as that stinking cloud takes that, that intimidation factor of this chamber, takes it up significantly, and now we can justify... Um, Neznar saying, well, I'm not going through there. Or at least his troops, the bugbears and the goblins and, and anything else he's brought along with us are going to be going, we're not going through there. That stinking cloud will put them off. They are not stupid creatures and they're quite cowardly when they're faced with things they don't understand. They can't fight a cloud of spores. They can't. <laughs> so they will be fearful of it. And I think that's a nicer solution than the ridiculousness of just two violet fungi. Um, I think what we can also do is we can put some extra violet fungi in here and all. You know, why not? There's basically one living in each of those clumps. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, just think it's a nice way to do it. Um, let's give it a quick test. All right, here's Sorryman. Now, we can see where the tiles are because we're in the DM view, but the player won't be able to. Now, we're fine so far. Still fine. Oh, we've set up a tra tra trapomatic. We can make our saving throw. We can fail it badly. And, uh, oh, actually, did it already do the damage? It, oh, no, it didn't do the damage. Okay. We just need to make sure that that is. There we go. Okay, so now we've done the damage. Ah, yes. This is one thing that we need to be aware of with some of the traps. Uh, the Trapomatic hasn't applied the damage to Sorryman. He's rolled the damage, but it, it, even though he's targeted, um, it hasn't applied the damage to him. There is a little thing to do with the automation that's not quite working for the traps. And I did notice this before. It's not a deal breaker because we've still got the rolling of the saving throw. We've still got the rolling of the damage. We can still see all that. That's not a problem. Um, it's just we have to manually apply the damage until I can work out what's wrong with that. Conversely, if I drag this pit trap out and stick that there that we created before, and now I'll tell you what I need to do with Sorryman. I need to have his hit points always displayed, please. There we go. Now if we move Sorryman to the pit trap. Oh, I've set off another one. Ah, set off, set off a dart trap. What's going on there? 
I've got a hit. I've got, <laughs> I've got a dart trap somewhere. Oh, is it the trapomatic? The trapomatic has a dart trap attached to it. Oh, okay. Righto. Well, I wonder if I can. <laughs> it's the dart trap. Okay, that's fine. If I move, it doesn't matter where I put it. I can move the trapomatic over there, and then he won't set it off. Um, but yeah. So what I was trying to say is. We're not taking any damage from that, but if I walk over the pit, ah! he makes his saving throw, or he attempts to make his saving throw. Um, that acrobatics check, rather. Uh, oh, that's not working the way it did before either. Saw him in the wide. Hang on a second, what's going on? Hang on a second, this was. Um, has something been broken since we last did this? Let's make sure. Oh, I've accidentally gone down a rabbit hole I wasn't intending to, as so often happens. Um, that's linked to the actor. Of course it is. Uh, what am I doing? It's the tile I want to select isn't it you muppetry right so the tile triggers yes active once per token no we don't need that okay let's try that again because sorry man should be able to walk over here <coughs> that's better it's because i didn't have sorry man selected i had thinking the, the trap still selected uh, and it did damage okay so that's worked absolutely fine that's what we want it to do um, and of course the trap is now deactivated okay so that's what we want it to do um, and it's working for those why is it not working for these is it because we've got saving throws in there let's do it a disadvantage okay so you failed that oh no you passed that even at disadvantage well that's boring do it again Okay, so it's not automatically applied it, but when I roll damage, poison spray, spray to the trap and traumatic poison spray damage of 12, but it's not applying it to Sorryman. Why does, we have segued now, problem solving, wasn't intending to do that. So second half of this video, <laughs> it's gonna be problem solving this. So this trap, its actions, it will show this tile paused again, ask for an acrobatics check and continue if you fail. It will play a sound file, the Wilhelm, Wilhelm scream, just for kicks and giggles, and then it will hurt the token by 2d6. So it's using hurt to do that damage rather than anything else. So I'm wondering if this is a better way Let's leave that up there for reference. Um, <clears throat> I'm wondering if that's a different... I've moved the tile. <clears throat> I'm wondering if we do this differently then. And rather using rather than using the trap o mm. Let's try. Okay, so we're happy with this stuff. This is kind of the same setup. Um, reactivate that trap. Um, we go to our triggers that we're just saying just attack using this but the attack is the issue but what we absolutely could do instead is instead of attack we can because poison spray asks for a constitution saving throw so the first thing we can do is go to um, da 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 Oh, action flow. What's that under? Request roll. That's why you muppet. So what we want, instead of attack, we want it to request roll. Blimey, what is wrong with me? 
What? Monk's token bar. Request roll. It's down there. That's why. For the act of, for the triggering token, we want them to make a, it's a constitution saving throw. The DC, we've got that as 11. Again, we can just, we can alter that however we want. Let's make it a DC 12. Um, we can put in some flavor text. This is something we couldn't necessarily do before. Um, You accidentally kick a small puffball and are and enveloped in a cloud of spores. There we go. So we're going to make that a public roll. Um, Let's update that. Just want to check how I did this one with those settings. Bypass and auto roll. Yep. So bypass and auto roll. Continue with tokens that fail. So if they succeed, that's fine. Um, and again, if any fail, continue with that. Right, we're going to do it that way. Brilliant. Um, play sound file. I'm not going to have the Wilhelm scream in this. It doesn't make sense. But what we can do instead is then we can use hurt. So we're replicating the spell by doing this. Again, triggering token. Uh, and the damage is... D12. Okay, so we know that we need to do the damage of minus 1d12. Okay, and that's how we need to do it. It just does say right here. If you want to increase the value, use plus 10. If you want to halve the value rolled, use minus. Oh, I see. That's in the double brackets, but I don't want to do that. Um, is it just like that? Is that what we want? Add chat message. Uh, show dice public roll. Okay, do that. Again, I just want to check this one. Uh, this one... Yeah, so if that, that's doing half the damage, I think. Oh, how interesting. 2d6 divided by 2 for the pit trap. Right, let's just check this works. Update the tile. Get rid of that one. Right, sorry, man. Try this again. Let's set this one off. That's better. <laughs> okay. So that works much more effectively. Uh, it doesn't say that it's poison spray, but we can use that wherever that came up. Um, so at the bottom here, you accidentally kick a small puffball and enveloped in a cloud of spores. Constitution saving throw, DC 12. Uh, he rolled that, he failed. Um, in fact, it's much nicer if we get rid of that. And we, we can do it again to him. So he's made it that time. The Constitution saving throw DC. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, of course he made it, so it stopped. Yes, yeah, stupid boy. I'll fail it again for you. No. Right, there we go. Boom, now he's wounded. Right, so you saw that work and that did apply the damage. So this is a better way to do it. That spell casting from the trap isn't working the way that I wanted it to. Uh, I have a working solution now. Um, it's not it's not ideal what I want, though. I'm going to have to look at that and make sure that we can get that to, uh, to work properly. What I do need to do is get rid of all of these ones that aren't stinking cloud. That's a stinking cloud. Mm-hmm. I've made a mistake by not using... <laughs> by being lazy. That's a stinking cloud. That one's a poison spray. That's a poison spray, but the wrong, wrong one. This is the poison spray that works. 
this was a poison spray. Well, hopefully you get the idea of what I was going for, but I haven't implemented this particularly well on this occasion. I think you'll probably agree. Um, but that's part of the fun of this, and it's why I like to do things on video, is so that you can see the struggles that I have getting stuff done, because I'm not an expert by any means, and any of you who've been watching for a while are very well aware of that. <laughs> that's a stinking cloud. All right, so I've got rid of all the other ones. So this one that is now the working version, I'm going to copy and paste this in a few places and just scatter it around liberally um, in the hopes that the player characters will set it off at least once or twice. There's a couple down here that I missed. Uh, that one was the one I just did. That's okay. What's this one here? That's a stinking cloud. All right. So anyway, the point of this whole video was <laughs> one day I'll just do a video. <laughs> just set everything off on his way through. Um, so the point of this video really was to say that we got a solution, or I've got a solution. I'm happy with. I need to get rid of that um, that trap. Uh, this is a solution I'm happy with for this room that just makes this far more challenging than the original module wanted it to be, uh, which was, in my opinion, just really lacklustre. And there's no reason that it would stop Neznar and his cronies from actually coming through here. Um, it's, it's almost laughable how, how ridiculous um, it is. Just want to find another one of those stinking clouds because I want to make sure it's not too easy for them just to wander through and avoid everything. Um, so I am going to stick a stinking cloud right there um, just to make it more likely that they will set it off. And there's going to be a number of ways the players can deal with this. Uh, obviously, there's a number of spells that they can use to clear the air and things um, if they wanted to. Um, what we could do with some of these, if we wanted to, by the way, is under actions. We can do that damage. We can also, apart from doing the damage, if we wanted to, we could also apply poison condition to them, if that's what we wanted to do. Um, we can do anything like that we want. But I want the players to walk through here and go, oh, this is a challenge they need to overcome, rather than I'll hold my breath and just run through it. Now, anybody who... Uh, decides that they can fly I would happily say that yes they can fly over them and they're not going to trigger anything lovely uh, any character who says I'm going to cast fireball in there and try and burn out a whole bunch of stuff I'm going to let them do that it's going to really upset the violet fungi uh, and get them into a fight with anything that's left of the violet fungi but I'm absolutely going to allow them to do that so it's not just going to be a case of, well, we walk through here and deal with the violet fungi and carry on. It's actually going to give them a, a bit of a a bit of a pause for thought. Uh, how do we overcome this? Because they've done a lot of fighting and not a lot of thinking. It's just another way to get them thinking. Right. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling. That was an awful lot of effort for one room, wasn't it, in the end? Um, what do you think of this idea? Do you, do you like this? Do you like the idea of having it basically a room full of traps that are just these spores going off doing different effects and things? Um, I think it will work. I think it will work quite nicely. Uh, and by unlike doing paper and pen, where I'm going to be just rolling random dice to see if they happen to set it off, these tiles being triggered 50% of the time makes things more interesting. One player walks through, no drama. Next person following through after them, suddenly they are setting stuff off, off that other people weren't. I like that idea. Anyway, thank you for watching. Just a short one, watching me absolutely bumble through yet another little problem. I will see you in the next one. You take care. Bye-bye.